welcome back to my channel my name is katie and today i have another canva topic that i'm going to be sharing with you and this time we will be using a canva free account yes you heard me right the canva free account you don't need a pro account for this all right so are you ready let's get started So as you can see, I'm here right now in my Canva free account home screen. And what we are going to do is to click create a design and then create custom dimension. All right. Now, um, you might ask me, why do you have to create a custom dimension? It's just me force of habit. I like just typing the correct dimension. So I'm sure that I'm really working on the correct dimension. But of course, if you are not familiar with the dimensions of um, the different projects that you can create on Canva, you can always um, choose from the standard templates. So here you go. I'm going to type 1920 by 1080 pixels and then make sure it's pixels right here all right there's a drop down here it says pixels inches millimeters and centimeters choose pixels so if you want to um, work with me on this project so choose pixels and then create the sign and um, as usual it's gonna open a new window and here you go we now have our blank canvas so I call this a canvas um, don't be confused with that. You can call it as workspace as well or your project area, whatever floats your boat. But I like using the word canvas. I'm, it, it just appeals to me more. All right. Now, since we are working with stickers, I'm going to go ahead and click on elements that's on the left side or the left panel of your canvas screen. And then it's going to open. We just have to scroll down a little bit and look for stickers and click see all. All right, now then it's going to show us all the stickers that are available for us to use. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you um, the shape stickers. So we'll click on see all. And then I'm going to choose a frame or a shape sticker. So in this um, demo, it's going to be this one. I like this one. I, I mean, it appeals to me. I like how dynamic it is. So I'm just going to turn this over like this. And I'm going to make sure that it's centered. So I'll click on position and then click middle and center. There you go. It, we're sure that it's right smack in the middle. Of course, you can snap into it by waiting for the lines to appear. But I always make sure that I click on position just to be sure that um, it doesn't go somewhere else. All right. So now we have it here. I'm going to add another sticker. I'm just so this is, looks a bit more exciting. All right. So I'm going to look for the word November. All right. And then it will appear right here. I'm going to choose this pastel November sticker. There you go. And let me just adjust the size. So if you have noticed, I actually drag it inwards to make it smaller. So that's basically the same thing with other editors. If you want to make it bigger, you drag it outwards. And if you want to make it smaller, you drag it inwards. So there we have it already. Now the next thing that we would do is to actually change this screen right here, the white area to green. All right, so I guess you know where I'm going. We are dealing with green screen right now. Isn't that exciting? All right, it's really easy. And I, I want you to remember all the steps so that um, you can do this on your end as well because this is something that you can in incorporate in your videos. So now we have this in place. We don't have to do anything else anymore other than to download. So click on publish and click download. And you will see here the file type is video. Um, not all of us have this video um, incorporated in their Canva accounts already. But don't worry because any day from now you might have it. So just keep on checking. If um, you are not logging out of your Canva account, just make sure to log out and then log back in just to check if you have that feature already. Um, because as, as far as I know, only the beta testers and a few others have this feature. So if you are not using your Canva that much, maybe I'm not sure if that's, that's the reason, but just use and use your Canva. Maybe Canva will um, think that you might need this feature already and put it in your sidebar as well. You will know that because just under text, there would be a link 
to video so you can click that and you can access the video so let me click that before we download just to show you there you go there are some free um, stock videos that you can use in your project but that's another topic so i'm gonna go ahead and download this right now aside from clicking the word publish um you can also click the arrow that's pointing down which is a symbol for download click on that and then click download and it's gonna start downloading and i've already opened iMovie and I have prepared a stock photo that we can use of course you can use a stock video as well It depends upon you and then I have Filmora as well and I use the same photo so that you can see the difference between the two So let's use iMovie first And I have downloaded the video already what I need to do is just to drag it on top of the photo Because it's where we want it to be. It's gonna function as an overlay and then I have to click it and then here um, the first area that will appear it will say cutaway green or blue screen split screen and picture in picture what we need to choose is the green and blue screen option so I'm gonna choose that and see what happened okay let's go ahead and play and see if our video is working from the stickers that we got from canva there you go it's working of course it's gonna look better if our background is a little bit darker i didn't think about that when i prepared my materials for this but of course you know how it works right now and you found out that we can actually export stickers from canva and use them um, when we edit our files in a video editor all right so let's go and transfer quickly to filmora all right and here we are so what i'm gonna do is either to import the file from our downloads folder or just simply drag and drop as usual um, dragging and dropping is actually my favorite so there and then i'm gonna drag and drop that here as well and of course if you see this dialog box just click on match to media there you go and then i'm going to double click on this overlay again which is our green screen and then um the green screen options will open and then i'm gonna go ahead and click and check the box so there you go um, the green screen was removed, but if you want to make sure that there's no gray cast, you have to adjust the tolerance as well. Or you can also adjust the offset area. All right? There. So it depends. Just play around with it. There's no right or wrong number here. Um, just make sure that you don't see any gray cast or any of the green screen still remaining. So now uh, I think I'm okay with the tolerance level. And then I'll click on OK, and then we're going to play it and see if it works. All right, there you go. It works on both of the video editors that we tried. So try this technique out when you edit your videos. Um, if, if you have other video editors or if you can try to use this on other video editors as well, comment down below and so I can try it as well. Of course, it's going to work for sure. I can guarantee that. Just um, follow the steps that we did and make sure that you apply the green screen functionality. So that's it for now. If you have questions or if you have video requests, let me know if you are not subscribed to the channel yet. I would appreciate it if you do. And of course, please click the notification bell so you will be notified when a new video is up. So that's it. My name is Katie again, and you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye! Wow.